<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and yes, back here with another Xbox 360 tutorial for the first time in I'm not sure how long here. But this is going to be a little bit of a starter or even a upgrade tutorial. If you have a hard modded Xbox 360, that means a JTAG, a RJTAG, a RGH system of any kind, a hard modded system, not a retail one, not a flashed one, I'll be showing you how to set up the Aurora dashboard on here. This is the latest replacement dashboard for the Xbox 360 and succeeds both Freestyle Dash as well as Freestyle 3 because this is still continuously getting support and updates. So it would be recommended to switch over to Aurora if you are currently a Freestyle 3 or Freestyle Dash user. However, I'm going to be showing everything in this tutorial like you are someone who just modified your system, it's blank, you're not sure really what's going on here, so you need to set it up net new. And that's okay, but even if you're trying to upgrade from Freestyle 3 to Aurora, you're still welcome to follow along. So we're going to need a few things. First of all, of course, we need our hard modded Xbox 360. Now you cannot tell here because this is a regular Xbox 360, at least on screen here, but I can promise you this is my RGH system. We're also going to need our computer to download a few files, and we're also going to need a USB drive. I figured this would be the easiest way of doing it. So we do need to format the USB drive, which means everything on this USB drive is going to be wiped. So make sure you back up anything you care about off the USB drive. Once you're ready for that, take your USB drive and plug it into your Xbox 360. Now once you plug it in, navigate all the way over to your system settings, go down to storage, and you're going to find this unformatted system right here, or this unformatted piece of storage. Press A and we want to format this. So again, it's going to erase everything, and if you're okay with that, say yes. And after a few seconds, once it is done, it's going to look a little something like that, and we can actually use it. So perfect, the USB drive has been already set up. Now it's been set up, so we can remove the USB drive from our console, and let's move over to our computer. Over at your PC, all the links for these downloads will be down below in the description, but we're going to need three applications here. First of all, we're going to need XEX Menu. So for this, you can simply go to the link in the description and download the live XEX version. Next, we will need Dash Launch. So again, link for this will be down below and you can just click on this button right here to download the latest Dash Launch. Finally, we also need Aurora, the dashboard itself. Come to the link in the description, scroll down and find the latest download link. So now it's gonna look a little something like this. You'll have all the RAR files and a zip file, but you'll have XEX menu version 1.1, uh, dash launch as well as Aurora. As for your USB drive, it should be formatted to FAT32, which is what we need. So now let's get everything set up. So for Aurora, you can simply right click and extract it into its own folder. In the folder, it's going to look a little something like this. This is the actual dashboard itself. So I would actually rename this to something such as, you can call it like Aurora 07B1 or even just Aurora to shorten it to that. Now copy out this entire folder and paste it into the root of your flash drive, just like that. So it's going to copy over, just give it a few seconds. Next up, we're going to need dash launch. So right click, extract it into its own folder. And here inside the dash launch folder, there's going to be a couple of things. There's going to be the installer and there's going to be Zell launch. So for the installer, you can rename this to something like dash launch. 3.19, whatever the version is, or you can just call it dash launch, whatever you want to. And grab both of these folders. You might as well just copy over your Zell launch as well. Copy both of these out, go to your flash drive, and just paste them into the root of your flash drive, just like that. Finally, we need XEX menu. So right click, extract it to its own folder. Inside of XEX menu, we'll have XEX menu here, and we're gonna have the live and the XEX versions. So extract each of these to their own folders. Now we want the both of these. So for the XEX version, this is just fine. You can just copy this out as is, go into here, and paste it into your USB drive. And if you want to make this look nice, you can rename it to just like XEX Menu 1.1 or XEX Menu, whatever it is, just like that. Now, the last one is going to be this live container. And this is going to be a little bit different. So on the USB drive here, 
check this out, there is this hidden folder. And if you don't see it, that means your view might look a little something like this. So your USB drive might just look like this. Well, there is a hidden folder and we need access to that on Windows. So at least here on Windows, you can go to your view settings, you can go into hidden items and tick hidden items. And then you will see a content folder on your USB drive. So go inside of that content folder, create a new folder, and this is going to be all zeros and it will be 16 zeros. So count it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There we go. 16 zeros, go into the zeros folder. And then when you go into your XEX menu live folder, go in here, grab the code 9999 folder and paste it inside of your 16 zero folder, just like that. So again, this is how our USB drive should look. We're going to have Aurora, Dash Launch, Zell Launch, XEX Menu, and inside of your hidden content folder, the 16 zero folder, and inside of the 16 zero folder, code 9999. That's exactly how everything should look. Now that our USB drive has been created properly with everything we need, we can right click eject this and move back over to the 360 with your USB drive. Over at your Xbox 360, take your USB drive, plug it into the USB port of your system. And right here, as you can see, our USB drive shows up. So inside of this, you can go down to demos and you're going to see this new demo here called XEX menu 1.1. That's exactly what we need. So go in here, copy it or move it. We do need to sign into a profile, so I'd recommend just making a local offline only profile and sign in. I'm not going to sign into Xbox Live, I don't need that. So once you sign in, we can go ahead and copy this out. You can copy it to the memory unit or the hard drive, whichever you have. I'm just going to use the hard drive since probably everyone will have that. But copy it over to whichever internal memory you choose. Now go all the way back out, go to Games, My Games, and you're going to notice that XEX menu is loaded up here. There's going to be two of them because one of them is on your USB drive. It doesn't matter which one you launch, but if you want to launch the one on your hard drive, you can remove your USB drive and only one should show up. So that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm just going to open this up and we're now in XEX menu. So if you removed your USB drive, you can pop it back in. And this might be a little bit complex to navigate, so you can actually press the back button at any point and it will give you all of these directions here as to what you can do. So for this, I'm just going to press the back button yet again. Now I'm going to tap the right bumper and it's going to bring me to USB zero. So here is all of our folders and applications and such. So let's start copying everything over. For this, I would recommend you tap the Y button when you highlight Aurora and select copy. So now press the right button on your D-pad and it should take you to HDD1. When you're at HDD1, press the Y button, go to create, and I'd recommend creating a new folder in case you don't have one. And let's go ahead and call this apps, just something like that. So inside of your apps folder, this is where I recommend you copy over all these apps, press Y and paste. And there we go, it's now installing Aurora. But we have a few other things we need to copy over. So we can go back here, press left on your D-pad, and let's also do the same for dash launch. So Y, copy, right, go into apps, and paste inside of this folder. Again, we're gonna do the same thing for Zell launch. And the last thing is going to be XEX menu, just to have two of them on here. So there we go. Once all of that has been copied over, we're good to go at that point. I'm actually going to remove my USB drive now because I no longer need it. And inside of your hard drive, you want to go to apps and you first want to launch dash launch. So go into dash launch and launch the default.xex. So this is how Dash Launch will look, and you might actually already have it set up on your system, maybe, maybe not. Either way, if you don't have it set up, this is now your chance to set this up. So you will need to go to Paths, go to Default, and press Y on Default. 
and we want to set Aurora as our default dashboard. You might already have Freestyle set up on here, but if you want to change that, you can go to Default, press A, go to Hard Drive, Apps, Aurora, and find the Aurora.xex and press A on that. Now, just as a heads up, I personally don't go online at all, but by default, when you set this up here, there's going to be some things such as live block that are going to be enabled by default on here. Let me go ahead and find that. Here we go. Like live block, live strong, some things like that. Those are not going to allow you to get on Xbox Live at all. That's going to completely disable Xbox Live related traffic. So I personally don't go on Xbox Live with this system here. That's something you want to do. You might need to change these settings. But otherwise, everything looks fine for me on here. So what I'm going to do is that was the only setting I had to change. I just had to make the default change. So once you're done, press the right bumper. And now you need to select where you want to save your INI file, your launch INI, which has all these settings. I'd recommend just go to the hard drive, highlight it, and press the X button. It's now going to say settings saved to hdd slash launch.ini which is exactly what we are looking for. So now at this point, we can just press the B button to quit out of here. Now Aurora should come up. It might take a little bit more time the first time around, but this is Aurora. So we can even restart the console itself, and you'll notice that when you restart your console, Aurora should boot up as the default dashboard. I'm actually going to do that here, and I'm going to connect my console to my network for the first time. So here we go, the system is booting up, and I'm just showing you here from a complete cold boot, so to speak. It should take us into Aurora here momentarily. And there we go, we are now in Aurora. So it's going to look quite blank here, and there's a few things that you should set up. So first of all, you can press the Start button for Settings and you can download and update your assets and all that stuff here. Again, this is assuming that you are connected on this. Now, I would recommend for your title updates, you can enable auto scan. For all this here, like the modules, everything looks good. And this is where your updates would be. As you can see, I'm on the latest version. But you can also now go back here, press the back button. And here we can go into pretty much all these settings, but I would recommend looking into scripts. So for scripts, you can go to the Aurora repo browser by pressing A. And let's see, like filters, for example, if there's anything here that you like, you can download these. And along with anything else, like the sorting scripts, I don't really use these, but the sorting scripts, subtitles, what have you on here. Now, I personally like the utility scripts. So a few I'm going to download are like the Aurora dashboard, well, database cleaner, which I'll say yes the disk to god installer the let's see here uh console info viewer why not and is there anything else i want no that's about it for now so that should all be fine so at that point here this is still kind of empty so again we can go over to our settings and we need to manage our content so you go up to content and when you're in manage paths you need to tap a on add and now we need to select a location for what we want to add stuff to so this is kind of how this works first of all you need to select where you want to pull data from so select change for your location and first of all one of the first places you should pull stuff from is hdd1 and go into content so for example all the content in here this is how this kind of works with your path and the depth of scanning so this is one folder. So this is like one, the zero folder, that's two. As an example, I'll use this, three, four, and our application is right there. So that is a scan depth of four. That means from content, we need to go into four folders to get to the actual game or application itself. So I would recommend select content by highlighting it and pressing Y, then change your scan depth to four, and here you can change your script data if you wish to. I'm not going to, I'm just going to save that. So now content has been added. As well as that, you can also add, go to change, HDD1, at our apps directory again, one, two, and there's our XEX. So that would be a scan depth of two. 
So I'd also recommend highlight your apps directory, scan depth, and save that. So now, if you saw in the background, things are now loading in and things are downloading. And if you have any games, for example, like if you have an internal or an external drive full of games, you can just tap A for add, change, and assuming here you'd go into like, you know, your hard drive one, and if you have a games folder, you would just do that same count and set it up like that. So that's about it, at least for this. I'm going to save that, exit out of here, and as you can see, everything is loaded up. So we have Aurora, Dash Launch, Zell Launch, XEX Menu, and another XEX Menu. The cool thing is as well too here, you can tap the Guide button, and as you can see, all of our information is now showing up on the bottom here. So like all of our temperature information. And if you ever need to get over to the original dashboard, you can just exit out of here by going to System Settings, say Yes, And now, as you can see, when you press back, you will be here. So that's about all there is to it. Now, if you press the guide button and press Y, that will take you back to Aurora because again, Aurora is now set up as your default. So that's going to be where everything is. On top of that, if you need your IP address, you can press the back button and your IP address is right there. So if you ever need to FTP, you certainly can. This is again where your file manager is. You got restart, reboot, shutdown, all that fun stuff. But everything is set up right here. Now, if you'd like to rip a game over to your system, this is the last thing I'm going to show. You have two methods of doing it and how you want to do it is completely up to you. The first one here is just going to be just the standard way of doing it through XEX menu or some other thing where you copy over the raw data of the disk itself. So it's just all the files that are extracted out and blown out somewhere. So for this, what you would need to do is go into something like XEX menu, for example, which I will open this up. And here you would go into, for example, hard drive one, create a new folder, you would call it games, press the done button, and then inside of here, you would create a new folder, and you can call this something like my game is King Kong, so I'm just going to name this. So there we go, and inside of this folder, you would press Y, copy DVD, and I already have the disk in, but of course it ejects it, so I'm going to pop it back out, give it a few moments. And as you can see here, this is copying over the game through XEX menu. And this is just taking the raw files again off of the disk itself and blowing them out onto a folder wherever you choose to do so. So this is one method of doing it and this would not be the regular backup method that you would use within Aurora. Now the second method would build a container out of this, a games on demand container. So for that, once you install the plugin for it, what you would do is press the back button, go to scripts, go to the Aurora disk to God installer, run this, and here you would be saving it to HDD1, content, the all zero directory, and here you would select this directory. So highlight the zero directory and press Y. And if it says this will create a tile ID and another subdirectory, you want to say yes to this. So this is going to rip it a different way. This is going to rip your game into a G-O-D, a games on demand container. All right, so we are almost done here, but once this is done copying over, it's going to ask if you want to scan for new content now, to which I would recommend you say yes. Now you can back out of this completely, and you should have a couple of King Kongs that are going to show up or whichever game that you installed. So for this, I'm actually going to remove this because I don't need the disc anymore. That's all good. And now, just like any other game, you can hop in here, for example, press A, and now this will launch the game with no issue. So this is running directly off of the internal drive or wherever you decided to install it to. Again, this is not the raw file dump, so if you are looking for that, I'd recommend using XEX menu or even firing up your old Freestyle 3 or Freestyle Dash install if you choose. But if you're just going to be doing this over Games On Demand, that's perfectly fine. Finally, if there's anything else you'd like to check out here, you can go over to your game, press Y for details. And here, for example, like this is to launch the game, but on each of these options, you can actually press left and right to do more. 
So you can press A for a trainer, for example, if there's any game trainers out there. You can modify any of your settings. Down here, title updates, this is the cool one. You can actually press A for title updates and you can check what's installed or go right using the right bumper and check this out. There is one title update available, so I'm going to press A on this and it's now going to download the version three title update for this game, for example. So you can press back and you can even check for DLC if there's anything you want to install. The file manager as well too. You can check your achievements, saved games, preview, achievements, all that fun stuff. Um, even rename it. And of course you can favorite it as well too. So that's about it on here. I guess the last thing would be in the title update. You can go to installed and you can just press A to enable this or A to disable it. So for example, if I want to play with the latest tile update, I have it installed already, I can go down here, enable that in the install tile updates, go back, and now I can launch the game. It applied the title update as you saw, and now after a few seconds here, the game is running, and this time, if I bring this up, if you look in the bottom right hand corner, it's going to say version 0031, Disc 1 and TU3, which means that we have taken the title update successfully. So that's about it. That is how you can rip over games using Aurora and download and apply title updates. That's pretty much about all the basic usage that you would need on here. So let's exit back out. And yeah, that's about it at this point, you all. You can play around with other stuff such as your views. If you press the B button and change around all of this, that is completely up to you. I'm going to leave it to you all to play around with, but that is how you install Aurora and get some basic usage out of it. Hopefully that helps out. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario is signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too. 